often when I start talking, I don't really know what I'm going to say. And trust me, I have other things to do than talking. Only when it's useful and necessary, I'm happy and willing. And I'm also able. And probably that's what I am. I am. And why I am. I am. I am able to do such. Otherwise, I would not talk. I would not say anything if I have nothing to say. Because the message is... um it's totally useless to talk when there's nothing in it. <laughs> I mean, I don't get enjoyment of it. I never do. Never did in my whole life. That's why I had been so silent, because no one was listening. I get the message. I have I have been receiving these little text messages. I can't respond on Instagram. I'm banned. I can't, I can't contact anyone only via messages. I cannot respond to the commentaries and reply anymore for like a few days now or maybe for always and um i get these messages and they say something with i had to check my messages so i i wasn't sure what it is i'm still not sure what it is but right now it's the second time i think it's just for me to make the message clear that why are people so um angry when you tell them that something is wrong what they do or did because I'm not. They can get amazingly aggressive when you tell them, even in the nicest ways, that what they do is not right. It's because they know, the shoe fit. They do have a knowledge and a knowing that what they do or did is just not right. In psychology, it's called they have an emotional attachment to it. It triggers their buttons. You push their buttons because why do they have those? Enhancers, you know, buttons can be pushed. Because uh, you, know, you can say lazy, but they're also just mean. I mean, they want to outleash everything of their little traumas and dramas, which everybody had some at some point, on other people instead of dealing with themselves. So they blame frame anybody, anywhere, at any time. And when you want to help them, the only thing you get is bad vibe and bad uh, anything. The only reason why they do that is because they want to outleash or their pain body. And you call it anger, hatred, whatnot. And they need someone to do it to or with. So when you engage with them, oh, they found someone. Oh, you're game now. But it's never play for them and it feels very, very, very bad. So you do not want to do that and you don't want to be in there. Um, if someone says, you know, there's something that should be corrected, I'm happy to receive input. Absolutely, yes. Uh, sometimes I am not allowed to check again. Before I have to I'm pushed to post and I don't want to uh, because I think I should read it again. Maybe there's, you know, sometimes I do the spell, you know, then the system does the spell and changes things and words. And sometimes, I don't know, I, I have changes to make, small little ones, not significant changes. And I can't. So if there's anything to add, or when I started with the instrument here, anything to add? Oh, that's the name of the song. Thank you very much. I am happy to. But I don't feel absolutely uh, freaked out when someone says what, whatever that is you did is wrong. And usually when people don't really know what they're doing or saying, any short amount of criticism is always taken as something negative. It's always devaluating them as a person. It's always an attacking to them. Did you hear what I just said? So it's never... But when I receive criticism, I think, well, first, is there even a message? Second, is there a person talking to me? Or is it just someone who is outleashing their own little drama on somebody? And then I look, is there a good intent? Or is it someone who needs now a fighting body? So I'm kind of absolutely detached. And even if I had posted stuff, so sometimes there is. The, I sometimes I spell things in different ways, and I also make the phrasing constructions difficult or complicated just for somebody maybe to stumble upon, and actually stop and actually look. Sometimes I do it just to enhance the inanity. 
they're so stupid that I can't even know how to speak and I use words like them which is absolutely wrong I like me a good <laughs> I like me a good fish at dinner not good bad <laughs> Because culturally it says something about the people and you find them everywhere on earth. We are like, we can actually put a frame to those. All of, all of everybody. Only I don't have a frame. That's <laughs> I'm frameless. <laughs> How fun is that? I have so many faces. Faces with F or with PH. Depends on where you come from. So you can actually pinpoint attitudes into a little mark you can write a little book about it chapter one two three to eleven and abc and then you can find in different you know, places on earth cultural where they all come from and, and, and that's all just the same and sometimes it's really visible and often it's absolutely invisible because what matters is the motivation and how they react to it that also means that is the right solution i know what i do and i'm i'm happy and glad about it and and even if I had overlooked something, I, I hope not, because I have like who can help me and push my attention to it, which I often do. Not often actually, but it had been happening a few times. I do that, I'm happy too, and otherwise it doesn't really matter. It used to be that you don't like, needed to feel that you had like to be absolutely perfect to even do anything in your life, because that perfectionism, where I hence came from, Germany is like, not really enhancing, it's also not enticing, it's uh, very stressful. So I kind of want to take that away from anybody. But um, all my messages have a lot of content and that's all what actually matters. No matter how I word it, 